<laughs> I am now a tree wizard. <laughs> okay. What? Not just a freak and a frock. <laughs> Um, what do you think of the Paisley Halloween Parade and has it been for you, the process leading up to it so far? Really looking forward to it. I'm kind of amazed at the amount of work that goes on behind the scenes. I was naive enough to think that, yeah, it's just a lot of people put on costumes and maps, but there's a whole load of other logistics and things to take into account. It's quite, a, quite an operation. <laughs> What's it been like being part of the Spellmasters and creating the spells to cast over Paisley on Halloween? I feel quite select actually, I feel yeah. quite select the, the select band of Spellmasters. And again, it's not just here, stick on that um, fancy dress and, and read this thing out of a book. This, it's, it's not contrived, it's no something that's been done before, it's literally a new thing. Like, the guys that are doing the Spellmasters sat down and wrote the spells. Um, and they're all Paisley people, what you want for the town, what you hope for the town, and yeah, even learn the choreograph choreography to deliver the spells. So yeah, it's been great. Being the spell chief spellcaster's given me a kind of sense of uh, achievement, I suppose. <laughs> um, to be in the town centre and you know being part of the parade. Um, Good memories. Yeah. And um, how about um, creating poetry to cast a spell over Paisley? What's that meant to you? Um, from there, I suppose it's like, you know, you're saying we want a healthier Paisley, a wealthier Paisley. Um, for all the bond work I've done over the years, it's, 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 um, it's certainly going to be, hopefully, that will that, that, go into the universe and come back and it will work for us, yeah. a continuing legacy project from the 2013 Royal National Mod in Paisley and since then uh, there's been such an openness uh, to integrating innovative uh, Gaelic arts, interactive, bilingual, working with a wide range of people, many of whom who've never had anything to do with Gaelic before and it's just been such a wonderful opportunity and we're here in 2016, our third parade, bigger and better than ever, supporting Paisley's 2021 bid for a UK City of Culture. They're an amazing city, an amazing amazing group of people and we hope you enjoy the parade tonight. Oh it's absolutely fantastic watching the children start off young, first time on stilts and now they're professionals, it's just amazing. And Peter's just better. <laughs> Peter does get better every year, doesn't it? So it's been lovely outside tonight watching everyone. Long parades but it's good fun. I just want to go to eat all the tasty students. Is there a course in child eating? Yes, um, I, I, I started really learning Gaelic, like, just uh, in my spare time. And it's, it's, a, it's a big challenge, um, but it's, it's, it's fun, right? It'll come in useful as well. <laughs> And this, uh, you were with us for the first parade, this is your fourth parade as well. And you're looking maybe to go to RCS? Uh, yeah, hopefully that'd be, it'd be good to get in, uh, hopefully do something with musical theatre, you know. And obviously this is a great like thing to get on the application, you know, help me. Definitely makes it a lot stronger, you know, give me some good experience to put in, you know, to use in my work, which is good. <laughs> Heretic!
John, what's it been like watching this work happen, uh, including Gaelic in your native Scotland? And what comparisons can you draw between this work and your work as general manager of Magnus, uh, one of the leading street theatre and spectacle companies in Ireland? Um, well, the comparison is the incredible community aspect of what's happening. You can see um, you know, the whole town is out as well. It's a fantastic atmosphere. Um, but then you can see in the young kids in particular the fact that they're really they engage with the whole process. Um, and the whole thing was very professionally run. It's the work like a dream. So well done. What did you think of the integration of Gaelic in this public street theatre and spectacle work? It's very interesting. I, mean, I don't have Gaelic myself and I don't have any Irish either, but um, it's such a a huge part of Scotland and Scottish history. But to use it in a public way like that is is just amazing. You know, it's something you very, very rarely see, particularly in street entertainment. And um, what would you like to see happen with this work in future? Well, I'd love to see it grow. I'd love to see it become maybe a whole parade in itself. There are side distractions sometimes we have different styles and different things going on. If it could be a self-contained Gaelic parade on its own, that would take up another level. Would, would that be something like a Royal National Mod Parade, John? Well, probably, Ariel, probably. <laughs> in, in Paisley 2021? Oh, that would be great. That'd be perfect. Perfect. I'd come over for that. I'd even learn a few words of Gaelic for you. <laughs> 